All right, welcome to the comic book shop of doom here on awesomestreaming.com. Lots of changes today. Look at this. Funcom acquires full control of Conan the Barbarian IPS. So intellectual properties, that's what it means. September 14th, this is on the Bleeding Cool website. Some cool news this morning for Conan the Barbarian fans as Funcom has officially acquired the rights to the franchise and more. Specifically, the company acquired the Cabinet Group, which also has been the home the dozens of IPs over the years, including Conan, Mutant Year Zero, Solomon Kane, for starters. While the finer details of the deal were not revealed, we do know that they have essentially taken control of the company and their entire portfolio, which will be incorporated into the IP studio and Funcom subsidiary Heroic Signatures. We also know that Frederick Malmberg, Co-founder and CEO of the Cabinet Group will continue with the new company as president of Heroic Signatures. While our news is clearly covering the game side of things, which includes a new project in the works that they haven't revealed details of yet, this stretches far beyond gaming. Heroic Signatures will be carrying on the licensing deals with companies such as Penguin, Random House, Panini, Titan Books, Monolith, and Funcom. Marvel Entertainment is publishing a new Conan comic book every month, and there's also a Netflix series currently in the works for Conan. Those projects are not going away. They're simply going to have a new company overseeing the IP. We'll see if this breeds the new life in the franchise since Conan the Barbarian has highlighted as the biggest piece of the acquisition as longtime fans would probably love to see new toys, maybe even an animated series. But we know for a fact Funcom will be focusing on the game sector most of all. We have a couple of quotes from the announcement for you here. And then here's where they're like, we are currently overseeing the development of an unannounced game which will combine many of the characters in the Robert E. Howard universe as Funcom CEO Rui Cassace. If you combine Funcom's knowledge of games with Heroic Signature's knowledge of the TV entertainment publishing and licensing industries, it makes a perfectly place to take this venture to the next level. It's exciting times ahead for us and for the fans of the IP. We took Cabinet Group as far as we could as an independent studio, but in order to achieve further growth, we were in need of bigger financial investments and infrastructure, Malmberg, Malmberg explains. The entertainment industry is rapidly becoming more techified. We've seen brilliant examples of how games are incorporated IPs in innovative ways to reach audiences, numbers that vastly surpass previous levels. What Fortnite has done with the Avengers, for instance, or the impact of a live in-game concert can have an awareness. We are looking forward to sit down with our entertainment companies who share our vision and wish to take part in the exciting journey which we have ahead. Yeah, and this is kind of a deal where I was thinking of like, if somebody was going to start up a company, you could grab Conan before this happened. And you have an, you could build around him and you have an instant universe if you wanted to do a movies or TV or whatever. And that's like somebody like, say, um, Kevin Feige, if he ever leaves Marvel, I think that guy could get backing right away for um, somebody would give him money to start another universe to make a series of movies and TV shows. And uh, it was just to make money. So you'd buy a character that isn't really with one of the big two or three companies, you know, like you'd say, you know, or uh, like the Green Hornet. That was one that Jim Shooter wanted to buy back in the day and build around him as a, he's like the main hero in this universe. And, you know, you could build around it. And that's what, you know, Conan is a prime example of this. You could do something with him. I'd like to see uh, one of those like fighting games you could play over the internet where you could be him or one of his adversaries or allies or whatever and you just sword people instead of shoot instead of a you know a shooter game you you cut and stab people. So I think that they're missing the boat on that. You know, you could have all people around the world, especially Conan is big in Europe. I know that. So you you can have Europe, United States and make money. And then they wanted, you know, they were going to have a property. They were going to do King Conan, the movie, with Arnold Schwarzenegger a few years ago. And that never materialized, but, you know, it would, it would sell. So everybody have a good day.